buddy Jaws Jr. here. We are up at the same thunder egg bed as that we were last year. If you go back and uh, you'll see that we were here digging out thunder eggs in southern Oregon. So here's what's going on here. Lots of holes. It doesn't seem like it's a practice for people to uh, want to fill in their holes. So there's a few, only a few fresh digs from last time. Over here. And I think I'm going to hit this area right here. But yeah, we got to be careful where we're at because they got some holes. Now, I'm going to probably be sending you guys off to some music while we're doing a lot of work. So you can see what we're doing. Might do a time lapse. Might do something else. I don't know. But uh, I'm fighting a pretty nasty cold. It hit yesterday when we were doing sunstones. And I'm telling you, I'm not feeling 100% and my voice is going to be going out. So, we're going to get at it and move some dirt and see what we can find. Well, we are at it pretty hard, but not much reward. And then the Mrs. Jaws Jr. has been working on this side. And some. So we're going to keep digging here. And who knows what we'll find. That's why we dig. Well, we've been doing some digging. Not that good this year. Not at all. In the spot that I was digging in, kind of dried up. But I found out why. I'll walk you up here. And I'll just show you how I found it. Or the hole, I should say. Then I got down here. And that's what I found. An old pull tab. So that tells me that this is somebody else's tailings from long ago, which is probably from up in this area. Which explains why things have pretty well dried up other than for the small ones. And that's, see that's even a broken one there. So, with rock hounding, there's good days and there's bad days, and today is probably a bad day. But the others are up in that area. And our partner who's with us, Jim, he just ran into a bees hive in a spot he was at. So he kind of had to abandon it. He irritated him a little bit too much. So, all this stuff here has already been dug. And there's not much virgin ground left. I, th I was kind of hoping that this was. And same here. But since everything just kind of dried up, it was weird too, because last year we were, we, you, I have it on video. I mean, my other video, um, movie from the last year I did and we found some decent ones in this spot so I was thinking maybe this is virgin ground still but it is not oh well you live some you win some you lose some I'll be right back with you hey everybody Moved into another hole that the missus was finding. And here, let me show you what she's found. So, 
she wanted to take a break and she asked me to come over here and help her out and work on it. And look what we got. So, let's get it out of here. This root here goes all the way around. So, there we go. At least I found a good one. Thanks to the Mrs. Jaws Jr. for asking me to come over here and find uh, to help her. That's cool. That is really cool. Now is it bigger than hers? It is. That's the biggest one. That's cool. I found the biggest one. Now she's pouting. Well, you know, we're going to keep following. She's been finding them along this root line. So... There's nothing stopping us from keeping to dig along this root line. Talk to you soon. Well, we're back. Another day of digging thunder eggs is done. We did pretty good. We got some small ones. Actually, we got quite a few small ones. But because the Mrs. Jaws Jr. was so resilient, you've seen this one. This was a nice one. Part of another one here. And here's another good one that she found. So we're going to get them back home, get them cleaned up and figure out which ones that we can cut now, which ones we'll cut later. Probably end up cutting some, some of the small ones now. Other than that, it's been a pretty good, that was a pretty good trip for us there, going after those thunder eggs. So for now, everybody, thanks for coming along. Thanks for uh, sitting through this and watching what we've been doing. And this part of the series of Southern Oregon Rock Counting. So remember, everybody, everyone's life is an adventure. Then there's mine. This is the Adventures of Jaws Jr. Have a good one, everybody. See ya.